Thank you very much for the opportunity to address uh, this issue. Uh, I come from a small country called Guatemala, that is in Central America. Uh, we are one on na or of 19 mega diverse countries in the world that uh, holds 10% of the biodiversity of the world. Uh, we are a country that has uh, 14 million people and uh, we have different uh, mega diverse areas in Guatemala. We have 314 protected areas within our uh, national uh, protected area system uh, that holds 3.5 million acres. Uh, we have uh, different categories of uh, protected area management and uh, the main pur purpose of uh, uh, we being here is to present our national biodiversity, the, our, our national biodiversity policy. We have a national biodiversity policy, uh, a strategy and a strategic plan for the year 2012-2022. Uh, we're one of seven countries around the world that are already with these plans and uh, we bring it over here to COP11. Um, Mega. Guatemala is a mega diverse country. Um, so, any biodiversity issue or the impact of climate change, etc., would have a very significant impact on uh, the the biodiversity of Guatemala. Um, tell us about some of the activities that your organization has taken up to deal with the issues, and uh, tell us what difference have, have have you been able to make. Well, I'm glad you talk about climate change because Guatemala is the second world in the world that is being impacted by climate change. The first one is Haiti and the second one is Guatemala because we have a very diverse uh, geographical system in our country. We have very, a lot of problems uh, with earthquakes, volcanoes, floods and droughts. Uh, and uh, what we're doing is that we are strengthening our protected area system because the protected areas act as a buffer, as a buffer zone whenever we have uh, uh, climatic change situations like floods. Uh, the, other, the other thing that we do uh, about climate change is that we're uh, preparing people. You know, we always take uh, preventive measures and uh, we give a lot of uh, environmental education to the people to be prepared for uh, the actions that we have to take for the climate change. Uh, it's uh, highly important to point out that uh, we are in this convention of uh, biodiversity, but we also are going to the climate change convention because we, th we think that we cannot uh, uh, talk about issues of biodiversity without uh, Talking issues about climate change, yeah, it's 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 uh, they're interconnected. So we have to focus on both, so we can uh, uh, talk about the sensible points of one convention and the other one. Um, tell us about uh, some interesting features uh, or some interesting points from the national policy of uh, biological diversity, your strategy and action plan for uh, the coming decade. What, what we have here is that within our national strategy of biological diversity, we focus on five main points. One is the institutional arrangements of territory and the actors' articulation. The second point is the awareness and appraisal of the people. The third point we make in our strategy is the sustainable productive landscape and land use planning of conservation. The fourth one is the attention of biological diversity. And the fifth one is the restoration of biological diversity and ecosystems. This all within the scope of the IG targets. Uh, the, 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 the other part that is really important that we emphasize in, is in the management of the biological diversity by the local people, by the indigenous people and indigenous groups. We're uh, uh, mega diverse country, but not just in biodiversity. 
also in cultural uh, cultural part and the natural part. So, you know, it's, it's like a marriage. Yeah, yeah. Great. Um, uh, great. Great to know about your organization and the activities that you take up. Um, and thank you for your time. I thank you very much once again for... I'd like to, I'd like to uh, tell you something about what is going to be going on uh, in Guatemala the 21st of December. We are going to be celebrating 13 Baktun and it's the change for a new era within the Mayan calendar. Within the Mayan calendar, the 13th Baktun is the last day of that calendar. Supposedly, there is nothing else after we finish the Mayan calendar and we're going to have a worldwide celebration in the site of Tikal, Guatemala. So I'd like to invite all the people in the Climate Change uh, Channel to attend Guatemala the 21st of December. Uh, we know that is not the end of the world, but I know that is a change of era, for a better era.